All right, I really hope this goes to plan. G'day guys, welcome to today's vlog. Slept out in the van again last night. I think I'm just gonna continue to sleep in there. Live the van life while I can. It was raining a bit last night and uh, some water came in the windows that I had open because it was a pretty muggy night last night so I had all the doors open. Just letting all the cool breeze come in. It started raining and then Suey was sleeping in there with me and considering, oh, she, she's there. Considering she's a bit of an older dog, she uh, jumped out of the uh, van down the stairs and just tumbled down the stairs. But she's all right. But, um, I think she loves the van just as much as I do. However, I think today's gonna be a bit of a thrift day. So we're gonna head out to the thrift. Naya's coming with me, so it should be some fun. We're gonna go to some thrifts and uh, see what we find today. So guys, we are popping on this cabinet slash table. I'm thinking it'd be perfect for in the van. It might be a little bit too low, so we might have to, so we might have to like pop it up a little bit. So then the table is sort of level with the window, the bottom of the window sill. So I think it should be good to have like king stove here, access to uh, cutlery and things like that, and there's a drawer as well. I think it should be awesome. So I didn't do that much thrifting, we just popped into pretty much that salvos and like a couple other thrifts and wasn't very successful with the items. So that table out the back there is pretty much all I got for today. But um, let's see, I'm not sure if it's going to be any good, but we'll take it down to the van, put it in the van, and see how she fits. But it is pretty promising, so yeah, it'll be cool. Like, that's just going to be the kitchen setup. Like, that's how simple I want it to be. Just a table, a bed, and some storage area. That's all I need. And I'm probably going to paint the rest of the van white just to match it, so the bed frame and the side of the bed and everything will be white. So everything inside is just going to be white. Yeah, it'd be clean and it would just reflect my mind as being clean and, and not so cluttered and everything. It's kind of my minimalist take on van life. So just called in home and they have a form here for me to pick up a parcel. So I think it is the Relay 30, the part that I ordered online for the Volkswagen. <laughs> it's just a long shot if this works, but if this does work by some remarkable, going to be so stoked, but I'm going to test it anyway and just hope for the best. So let's get into the post office and let's get this part. So, made it to the van. We have the part here. Actually, let's just open it up and just see if it is the part first. Relay 30. For some reason, it doesn't have the number 30 on the back. However, this is it, I guess. This could be all of the problems resolved right here in this little cube. I bloody hope so. This is also a good opportunity to do a water test of the van and see like how it keeps because it's been pretty hardcore rain the last few hours. So uh, let's have a look. As you guys can see on the first step, water does get in. It's a little bit damp along here. However, looking throughout the van, it doesn't look like water got in at all. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't see any drip marks or anything. And in the front it looks pretty good. But the moment of truth. Let's get this relay in and see what happens. Alright, let's take out this one. And let's put in this one. Yep, looks like it goes in like that. Alright, we're in. Oh, please. Please, fingers crossed. Alright, where are my car keys? Alright, I really hope this goes to plan. Come on, baby. Damn it! Oh no! It's definitely a lot worse than just the Relay 30. Damn it. Damn it. Alright, it was a good try anyway. And also, this is where Susie was sleeping right next to me last night. So what I'm probably going to do now, guys, is get rid of this thing and we'll put in the new piece of furniture that we just got from the thrift and hopefully it fits in there nicely. Let's go get it. Perfect. Maybe a little too big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing is perfect, guys. It fits a bloody treat. Check this out. I'm pretty proud of that. Look at the fit. Perfect fit. 
We got mirror. That is sick. We got drawers. Just got to drill it down. But this is going to be awesome. I'm going to get a stove, probably put it here, and cook. Chop food here. I oh, will be set. Check that out. That is bloody perfect. I am pretty proud of that because I didn't measure it. I didn't measure that previously, the space to see if it would fit. Just brought it thinking that it was a you know decent size from Salvo's and it fits a bloody treat. I'm probably gonna paint this white just to match this. It's gonna look sick. Hopefully mum lets me pinch this little stool thing because this works perfectly as a chair to sit down and then this can be a desk as well. <laughs> desk, kitchen table, everything all in one. Then when you're finished with it, you just put it under here. Boom. Maybe a strap just along there just to fasten it. Love it. So guys, last night I had a bit of trouble with the mattress. So the mattress here, it kind of just sort of slid off the edge a bit. So I'm going to get some reinforcement. I got some wet timber here that's been in the rain. But I'm going to prop that up against here on the side. So then it's just going to prevent that mattress from sliding off. So I'm going to drill that down now. So it's gotten a bit darker, but I think I'm going to scratch the idea of having the plank of wood because, because I can't find like the, the right plank of wood that I want to use around the backyard here. So I had a different idea just to use a few of these brackets here. So I'm just going to get the bracket and, and sort of just fasten the bracket up like that. So then there's enough clearance there for the mattress just to stop against it and see how we go with that. Hey, Sue. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Oh, watch out. Move your butt. No, no, don't go that way. No, move it. Alright, that should be good. Alright. You gonna sleep in here tonight? Stay there. This will be a girl. Guys, this is just like just a temporary fix just for tonight because last night the mattress just fell right off the edge of the bed frame and I ended up down here with Susie so this is just temporary. Hopefully I can find something a little more permanent a bit later on. Then we should be okay. Hey, we're in business. Look at that. Perfect. That actually works pretty well, guys. I'm pretty happy with that, Sue. That's good. The mattress is not going anywhere. So I have been working on the desk over there. It is a really good setup. I like it how the window is just there. So I can open up the window, have the breeze coming in while working on the computer. It's really awesome. I just went inside and I brought Oscar in here, our putty cat, and he's like smelling this place out. He's just checking it out. New environment, he's a little bit petrified, but, but he's also got that adventure instinct inside of him where he just wants to smell everything. <laughs> he's just exploring the inside. He's like, what the hell is this place? So guys, just been looking at uh, design ideas for the inside of the van. So it was either floor and walls to be all carpet, which I'm thinking of doing. Getting like these square carpet tile things that I will fasten along here and then put them up along the wall as well. Or it was gonna be vinyl floorboards that look like wood. So essentially it's fake wood that you just stick down. And I really like the chestnut colored one. That would have looked really cool. And then painting the walls white. But I'm leaning more towards and dad thinks I should do this is just do all carpet because it's going to add for installation and uh, help the van stay a lot warmer in colder situations. So uh, yeah, I'm going to head back up to the veranda because it's where my laptop's charging and um, I'll show you guys what tiles I was looking at. So I'm looking at tiles, carpet tiles. Uh, I found four dollars but now it's looking like about two dollars or a dollar seventy five per tile per like 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter tile and I'll need a fair bit of them 
because the van turns out to be about almost five meters squared from my calculations. Just doing research on the internet, I probably should go out and actually measure it and see what my van is, but I think, you know, it's a long wheelbase and everything, so I think it should be around five square meters. But yeah, it's looking like two bucks a, a tile. So uh, I think I might go that route. So we got two bucks, two bucks, two bucks, dollar seventy-five. Some wacky color ones, mix and match. Should I do a mix and match? That would look insane. Oh, that's crazy cool. But we'll see how we go with all that, guys. I still haven't ordered because I think I might just go down someday during next week or during the weekend coming up and uh, just have a look at the tiles in person and see what they have to offer there. I'm really sold on the idea now of just having carpet tiles for the real added benefit of installation. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked on the kitchen slash desk slash everything else table that I picked up today. It's gonna come in real handy and I'm glad it fits quite well. But yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. Thanks for coming along, thanks for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up, comments below. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.